This is my Dodge Ram half ton SLT. So here stands for Sport Luxury Touring. I've also heard it stands for Super Luxury Truck. I don't know what it stands for, but it's a nice truck. It's in good shape. Put on this bed liner. I touched it up. Used it. Got under cab lighting in here. It's a um, six passenger, it's kind of neat. This is the DVDs I play in there for the kids. So this console opens. And this folds up. And this actually folds up. This, now you can see it's a six passenger bench seat. Well, three into three. And this opens up as well. Get in. I'll show you the back seat. These fold up under seat storage. Plenty of it. Good shape. Door pockets. Uh, it's my registration, my title. This is the manual. Manual for a boss pile. That's the pile down there. No, it's just as fun as any other plow. Let's see. Got a cup holder that swings in and out. Um, storage. Try doing that in a regular pickup truck. Alright, so I gotta turn the fan down. This crazy ridiculous speaker system. Got a, an amplifier under here. kids. This is a really neat stereo system. It's got six speakers. Buy, sell, swap, and trade on the uh, It's cold out, so I'm shaking. Plus, I have a nerve issue. The navigation <laughs> gives you the standard warning. Good navigation. Um, play Bluetooth music, does your calls through Bluetooth, that's your microphone there. Does your music, you play on your iPhone or smartphone or iPod. Pandora, which I don't have, XM, which I don't have, which it's capable of doing. USB, it plugs in right here. And it actually charges your phone. Oh, it has an earbud there too. That's weird. I guess if you don't want to have everybody listen to your music. Um, got a display function, equalizer, you can do your balance and all that right here really fast. So just leave it in the middle, generally. <clears throat> the coolest thing about this stereo, oh, I'm not the, oh, the navigation probably, but this. If you have kids, I gotta turn the heat on. It's 39. Got a... So it's just getting around town. The range indicator. Time. Box. Two bucks. Watch this. Can we talk about this? So I know that's probably not a it's not legal for the factory to do that, but I didn't have the factory do it. Oh, get a backup camera. 
Oops. But uh, back of camera, I don't know how clean my lens is. It's not pretty clean, I guess. Which is great because it uh, has this little indicator of green is okay. Yellow is starting to get close. Red is in the danger zone. Oh, the other thing about the uh, <coughs> radio is you have a, a remote. Kids in the back seat. I honestly don't use a remote. I kind of forget I have it sometimes, but I used to use it when I would have bonfires. See how she goes. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on my seatbelt. Uh, it's gonna drive us both nuts. this driveway you can see why I need a plow and because it's fun as hell Sleeveless shirt, tailpipes of a Dodge. So you can see the thing goes. This is a Boss seven and a half foot plow. Mounts easy. It's actually a polymer. It's not super stressfully heavy on your truck. It's really easy to operate. You plug in those cords. When you're not using them, you lift up the hood and dump them inside the, the hood body. Um, there's a kickstand right there. Make sure you lift that up. To the low setting where this pin is in right now. And uh, when you drop it off, you put on. You just pull the lever, and it drops down, and you put it in the closest one to keep it somewhat level. This is your joystick. It's loose. So you can use either hand. I'll show you. I'm gonna raise up the plow. Swing it left. Swing it right. Drop it down. When you're parked, you want to drop it down. Take stress off. I just use it to plow the driveway. 